Hi there, it's Lee and Belinda from Chateau Marais. Hello, I'm back here again. It's so hot again. And Lee and I thought we'd take a meander up the garden, up the potager. This is so typical of us. I just said, well, let's, let's go and see what there are. And then we started picking bits and pieces. So we found one, one decent pear from one tree. That's a great crop, isn't it, Lee? Yeah. One, guess what the fruit is. Actually, it's a quince. Hard as nails, that one. Then I started picking a bit of rhubarb. Doesn't quince go into gin? No, rhubarb goes into gin now. Oh, good. So I found a little bit of rhubarb and we're taking a look around us and we've seen the apples that really need picking. There's a few more pears. There's some marrows, overgrown courgettes, bits and pieces. There's lots of tomatoes still, but some of them, I'm not sure whether all of them are going to ripen. So having found all those bits and pieces of vegetables left over at the end of the season. And fruit. And fruit. Do you know what springs to my mind? And it's not gin. No. Tarts. Chutney. Oh. I've just thought... Got with, quite into gin well, and tarts, actually. <laughs> so with all the bits and pieces of fruit and vegetables that there are left over, why not? We need some vinegar, we need some sugar, we need some spices, maybe some chilies, I'm maybe done. some raisins. I'm juicing oh, up and there's loads of grapes. I want to talk about the grapes as well, Lee. Yeah, okay. So you know all the grapes that we've got left? Yeah, we've picked loads already, so yeah. So I was talking to a friend last weekend who's also got a lot of grapes and she's made grape jelly. I thought you were going to say grape gin then. No. Grape juice equals wine eventually, of course. Oh, well, let's make wine out of it then. No, apparently they're no good for wine, these grapes. Oh. So. I thought I'd make some There's grape jelly. A downside, isn't there? Grape jelly, you can either eat clearly as a preserve with bread or toast, but apparently it's very nice with meat as well. Here I am by one of the wasp's favourite trees, this apple tree. As you can see, there's lots of them rotting. They're just rotting off the stem. Um, I'm literally going to be fighting off wasps in a minute as they realise what I'm doing. We're going to pick them and use but them. I'm going though, to pick we? these decent ones. Actually, Nothing these, gets wasted what? at Chateau Marais, mate. You know, actually, these make quite decent little eaters, actually. They're a bit small, but I'm going oh, to... Oh, we can make one of those apple tarts like they do here in tart France. Tart tatan. Yeah, tart tatan, that's it. Do you know, I've made that with apples and figs before. That's very oh, nice, but our figs really... aren't up to much. No, our figs are a bit small. Um, but I thought I might, might I just... say, darling, I think we've got small figs. These decent apples, so they don't go to waste, because the wasps are going to get them if I don't. Yeah. There's a few pears, Lee, on that tree over there. Okay. The tomatoes, I think we've got another couple of weeks on the tomatoes to let them ripen. Yeah. But we might as well take this fruit now. Let's get it out. Okay. Come on in. Yeah, let's do it. They're quite nice, actually, these. Do you want to try one? Oh, yes, please. I'd like to try one. What's it like? It's hard. They're quite, they're quite sweet, aren't they? Mm. They're not bad. They're very juicy. So I really thought we nice. might as well. Do you want to get some of those? Mm. I'll take some. Okay. Mmm. Oh, they're all good. Nothing's going to get. I suppose wet. we could make some apple juice, couldn't we? That's a good idea. Mm. What and then ferment it? Ha ha ha. Cider. We're not in Normandy now. Let's make cider. It's a much better idea. Lee, you're having a fight with the wasps at the moment. Yeah, I can I'm see. This supper. Ow! Oh, you didn't? Yeah, on my leg. Oh, is it bad? Do you want me to no. attend to you? No. Oh, yeah, all right. <laughs> you better suck it out. <laughs> Everyone you're picking off there, Lee, they've got a dozen falling off at the same time. Oh, no, I oh, know, you can't. Look, they've all been... You can see where they've been eaten away. Yeah. Let's see, they're the ones that are falling off. Like it's a wasp's nest in them. Oh, they're lovely, lovely red colours. Look, the colours of these. It's very autumnal, lovely. isn't it? Yeah. It's strange because it's still very, very hot, but it looks very end of season, very autumnal everywhere. So even though the sky is blue, if you just take a look at everything, mind you, it's the lack of water, isn't it? Really, yeah. I think. Um, I might just wander over to the tomatoes, Lee. So there's a few still left on. I'm still picking a bowl full of tomatoes every day, trying to think of things to do with them. And over here we've got courgettes, we've got radishes, salsify, 
forgotten what it is. There's a few radicchio radici left over there. And just over here, nestling amongst the greenery, are the marrows and the courgettes that are going soon to be marrows. So this sorry looking pear tree I think has managed to produce about a dozen I'm gonna pears get this season. Yeah, I'm gonna get We've not had a lot of luck them. have we with the fruit this year. The black currants you know were the only thing that was it's really water. really it's prolific. Water, I'm sure of it. Yeah they were earlier in the season weren't they but the the this uh, the apples and pears. Apples and pears love. Up the apples and pears. Up the old apples and pears. Um, what, a yeah. true little cockney. Could make a dessert with the apples. I think so. I think apples in red wine. I mean pears, sorry. Pears and red wine. Pears in red wine. That sounds really nice, Belinda. Another alcohol-related dish, Lee. And what's wrong with that, I say? What is <laughs> wrong with that? Hi, everyone. It's Belinda and Lee from Chateau and High. We've had a bit of a disaster this afternoon. It uh, The weather broke today, and it's... It, we had a terrible storm and it poured with rain and we've had a lot of consequences of that in our cottage we've had an ingress of water with soot which has um my goodness me it's sprayed all my beautiful freshly laundered and ironed bed linen with black soot but uh worse than that lee just came back he came over to the chateau to be fair to find a bottle of wine and came back and said belinda the kitchen's flooded so come and see So how are you feeling, Belinda? Well, I'm I'm really upset about this because I really like this carpet. I'm just I'm just I suppose I'm relieved this didn't happen last night because we had guests last night for dinner, and uh, can you imagine what we would have done if this had been the kitchen that we had to cook in? But you have to put a, a spin on this and say, look, okay, the kitchen's flooded, but <gasps> you know worse things have happened. I know, but how are we going to dry this carpet, Lee? Seriously. Are we going to try and dry it over this table? We've got the carpet off the floor. It's dripping every which way. <laughs> you can hear it. Um, I think that's as best as we can do. What do you think, Lee? Yeah, I think I'm not it, sure we can do much more now. Just, just leave it to, to leave it to dry, to dry out. out overnight, and then just see what what's going on in the morning. I mean, it's about half past seven in the evening now. Um, Goodness me, that's the first. We've never had a flood here before. I've never had a flood anywhere before. This is this just... Is wondering what's going on because I feet are all wet. Look, you can... Ow! And actually, we should leave before we slip over. Yeah, you this can... It's really quite dangerous. In see it. <clears throat> Literally dripping off in the water. Should we go and get some dinner? Let's go and eat. So we're ending ending up our garden harvest clearance session at, at the fig tree. This has been over the last couple of days, which is why we're in different <laughs> costumes. So, um, this is the fig tree it, that's it, produced no figs this well, year. Well, no, one actually, which and I that's ate. the one you no, ate. No, 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 I ate one, which was a full size pig. I, I don't understand how we're so good at producing fruit. Well, not good at producing fruit. So every fruit tree this year has produced one, seriously, one fruit. One pear we had on one tree. We had one plum cot. Plum cot, one. Uh, so anyway, th these are the size of the figs <laughs> on this fig tree. Just to give you, uh, to give you an idea, here's a, ten, uh, a two cent coin. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh. <laughs> We've still got so many grapes, but I honestly, I don't think I've got the energy to do any more. Well, grapple this, me grape nuts. Any of these grapes. There we are. So there's a lot of those left. There's endless tomatoes left, um, but they're just going to have to to ripen. It's like some ripen. earrings, some grape <laughs> earrings. Look at that. Pretty much. Oh, they're going to go. have to ripen uh, as time goes by. So thank you ever so much for watching yep. us. Thanks very much for watching. 
Thank please you for subscribing. Like us, please subscribe. It really helps us when you do that. It gives us a big morale boost as well, actually. And just to say that the next vlog up, you will see what I make in the chateau kitchen with the produce that we've picked during our harvest garden. You'll be clearance. watching Belinda playing with a bunch of grapes. And you'll be amazed. What could be nicer than that? See you soon. Bye from Chateau Mai. Bye. Bye.